Ever wondered how honeybees, these tiny industrious creatures, survive the challenges of nature? Well, sit back, relax, and let's delve into the intricate life of these fascinating insects. Honeybees live in highly organized societies, each with a clear role to play. The queen, the heart of the hive, is responsible for laying eggs. She's surrounded by worker bees, the diligent females who perform the majority of tasks. They forage for pollen and nectar, ventilate the hive and even nurse the young. Then we have the drones, the males whose primary goal is to mate with a new queen. Their life, however, is short-lived, as they die soon after mating. These roles form the backbone of the hive, ensuring its smooth operation. As day turns to night, their activities slow down but never stop completely. It seems these little creatures have their world neatly organized, doesn't it? But what about when things get tough? Unlike us, honeybees don't have the luxury of a night's rest. So how do they manage their day and night? Let's delve into this fascinating cycle. As the sun rises, honeybees begin their tireless work, buzzing from flower to flower, collecting nectar and pollen. This daytime foraging is crucial as it ensures the survival of the entire bee colony. But what happens when the sun sets? Do these industrious insects finally take a break? Well, not exactly. Nighttime for honeybees is not about lengthy deep slumbers. Instead, they retreat to their hive for what can be likened to a power nap. This short rest period recharges them, preparing them for the next day's labor. Their life is a constant cycle of work and short rests, an endless loop of day and night activities ensuring their survival and the survival of their hive. Truly, honeybees are tireless workers, but what happens when winter sets in? Winter, a tough time for many creatures. How do honeybees cope with this harsh season? As the days grow shorter and the temperature drops, honeybees are already well into their winter preparations. Unlike other insects that may hibernate or die off, honeybees engage in a remarkable survival strategy. They begin by storing surplus honey during the warmer months, enough to feed the entire colony through the frigid winter. The hive transforms into a fortress against the cold. The bees cluster together, forming a living blanket around the queen and the honey stores. The outer bees shield the inner ones from the cold, periodically rotating to ensure all bees stay warm. This huddle generates heat, maintaining a surprisingly consistent temperature inside the hive. Meanwhile, the queen bee, the heart of the hive, takes a break from her egg-laying duties. The hive goes into survival mode, conserving resources until spring returns. The honeybee's survival strategy is nothing short of amazing, but what threats do they face? Life isn't all roses for honeybees. They face threats, both natural and human-made. But how do they deal with these challenges? Honeybees are no strangers to adversity. They frequently confront perils such as predatory insects, birds, and even bears who have a sweet tooth for their honey. Pesticides are another significant human-induced threat. These chemicals can disorient bees, making it difficult for them to find their way back to the hive. But honeybees have a strategy for this too. They communicate through dance, sharing the location of nectar-rich flowers away from pesticide-laden areas. Habitat loss is yet another hurdle. As open spaces and wildflowers diminish, honeybees lose their foraging grounds. But honeybees are resilient. They swarm, seeking out new homes when their current one becomes undesirable or unsafe. The resilience of honeybees is commendable, but they need our help too. Their survival is not just a matter of biodiversity, but also our own food security. So, what can you do to help these vital pollinators? You might be wondering, and indeed, there are many ways we can all play our part. First, consider planting bee-friendly flowers in your garden or even in pots on your balcony. These provide much-needed sustenance for our striped friends, offering a rich source of nectar and pollen. Next, think about reducing, or better still, eliminating the use of pesticides. These chemicals can be harmful to bees, disrupting their navigation and foraging abilities. Perhaps one of the most impactful ways to help is by supporting local beekeepers. By purchasing local honey, you're not only getting a delicious product, but you're also helping to sustain a vital industry that protects and nurtures honeybee populations. In conclusion, we each have a role to play. We can all make small changes in our daily lives that will have a big impact on the survival of honeybees. Remember, every action counts. Let's ensure that the buzz of honeybees never fades away.